Hey Ham Geeks, welcome to Ham Brief episode 14. Today we're going to talk about satellite tracking software, specifically for the iPhone and the iPod Touch. Hey Ham Geeks. I was trolling around in the iTunes App Store the other day, as I usually do, uh, looking for new applications, and I stumbled across this uh, really cool satellite tracking application called uh, GoSat Watch by Go Softworks. This is really, really cool. It's ten dollars, um, but it does some amazing things. For an uh, iPhone application, I have not seen one uh, that that marries uh, data with live uh, telemetry um, information and you know getting into AMSAT and watching uh, the satellites myself here lately this application you have it on the go it does it in it, it provides you satellite information passes um, uh, as well as uh, a view of the satellites as they're orbiting the earth about and information about the satellites um, in local time, you don't have to worry with all the calculations of UTC and um, uh, trying to go to amsat.org and other um, sites. Um, so I, I bought the application and I wanted to show you a few things about it. Um, it ships uh, with with a bunch of uh, satellites pre-registered like um, Iridium, uh, uh, Sirius, um, as well as the space station. And others, but um, with a with a uh, if you go into the settings and you put in the uh, link to AMSAT's profile, it'll automatically pull all of AMSAT's amateur radio satellites uh, into the application, really with no no additional work, just settings uh, pointed at the AMSAT's uh, list, and they all come in. Um, so I wanted to show you a little bit more how this works. Okay, so here's my iPod Touch, and here's the application in action. Um, it might be hard to see with the glare, but you can see satellites all flying around the uh, the Earth. There, if I go into um, whoops, if I go into uh, satellites, you'll see a list of all the ones that it's aware of. So it's hard to see, I know, but Space Shuttle, um, International Space Station. AMSAT's what I have checked down there, Iridium, uh, satellite radio stations. Um, so if we go and look at uh, AMSAT, you'll see a list of all the AOs. Um, the COs, I don't know, there must be like 50, uh, I didn't realize there were so many uh, different uh, amateur radio stations. Uh, satellites, um, but if we we pick uh, AO fifty one out of here, that's the one I like to chase. Let's see. There we go. We'll see. Uh, um, we'll see information about the AO fifty one right there. Um, a sky. We'll see the the next pass is at uh, seven. 7.05 p.m. That's Phoenix time tonight, so no UTC calculations there. Uh, you have the information there about it. Um, if you go to the sky view, um, this is really cool information. Um, you can see that the um, that the satellite is currently... Uh, other than, uh, I bumped the ISS, so we're on the space station right now. It's showing that it's uh, 227... Um, miles above us, uh, by right there, and it's showing that it's uh, 1,700 miles uh, diagonally from us. So it's uh, 220 miles up and then 1,700 miles away, and it's traveling. Look at the miles per hour. It's traveling at 17,214 miles per hour. Um, pretty amazing. And then if we go and look at the map, since I have just the um, the ISS selected you'll see that it's right over North America, kind of on the eastern uh, seaboard. Um, but if we go into satellites, and if I say, uh, show me with AMSAT selected, and then if I go into the map, 
check out that that so this is all of the uh, AMSAT satellites flying around Earth um, plus the space station so um, this is just amazing and, and if you watch it it actually moves so it's kind of like a real AMSAT uh, like tracking um, software the way you would expect it to work um, so when we go to passes here or sky here let's see a O I mean you can click this little right button here and then get to a there it is AO 51 I can see AO 51 is 441 miles up and uh, 7600 miles away traveling at 16,000 miles per hour now keep in mind this little thing is about the size of a uh, of a basketball maybe a little bit smaller and it's tumbling through space that's why sometimes you'll see your uh, when you hold the antenna it's it's uh, horizontal or vertical you have to flip the polarity because this thing is just tumbling through space and it's so cool that you're able to track this thing size of a basketball flying through space on your iPod touch or an iPhone application it is truly truly cool and uh, the ability to, to, for it to tell you um, uh, the degrees where it's flying as well as uh, start time, max time, and end time. And like it, it, this is really cool too. I always um, have to run and check the computer now I'll be able to do this outside. It tells you the start time and it's tell you it's coming from the south and uh, 7.05 p.m. Phoenix time. And then uh, at max height, it'll be uh, in the west. Um, at 7:10, and uh, end time will be in the northwest. And on each one, it tells you the degrees. Uh, so at max height, it'll be at 44 degrees elevation uh, coming from the west. So pretty amazing, uh, cool technology here from uh, Go Softworks. Okay, GoSat Watch is uh, only available on the iPhone and the iPod Touch, uh, and it's 9.99. Um, there were uh, just a couple of minor, minor bugs. It's on version 1.1. One, uh, one was the, um, I guess if the, if the satellites were too low of an elevation or too close to midnight, uh, they weren't showing up in the past. Um, I've spoken to the developers uh, out of uh, Go Softworks, and um, they have said that the, that is corrected in version 1.2. Uh, it, it currently comes with uh, 200 satellites. Uh, that are being tracked. You do have to add AMSAT, but like I said earlier, it was, it was like uh, adding one URL to the settings and then it pulls in all 50 plus uh, AMSAT satellites. Um, with the ability to uh, view the world map, both uh, hor uh, horizontal portrait mode and landscape, um, as well as uh, one touch orbit data, uh, time controls in local time, and um, uh, the ability to grab your city list and your, your uh, GPS coordinates right from your iPhone. This is truly an amazing, amazing application and I would have to give it a 5 out of 5 diamonds. I think we can expect a lot more uh, new features and uh, functionality from this application. And best of all, it's in your pocket. You put it in your shirt pocket and you're on your way out the door enjoying uh, satellite chasing and talking uh, through AMSAT satellites and then you know everything else uh, that you get you know the space station and so forth so awesome application good job go softworks and um, I'm gonna just have to say 73's tune in next week